Let's discuss treating the crow's feet with injections of Botox into the orbicularis oculi muscle. The orbicularis oculi muscle is a circular concentric muscle that contracts when squinting, thereby producing the fine lines on the sides of the eyes called crow's feet. Injections of Botox into this very thin muscle will minimize its contraction and smooth the superficial skin above it. It is common to have anywhere between two and four shallow injection sites per side to obtain the best result. A slight brow lift can also be obtained as the downward pull of the orbicularis oculi is minimized by injecting the lateral peak of the eyebrow. Let's take a look at several patients who have been kind enough to allow us to video them. Okay, this is injection of the crow's feet. As you can see, if you turn to the side for me, I've marked the belly of the muscle, three spots on the right and three spots on the left. Mark the belly of the muscle in between the lines. Squint for me. In the contracted state, you can see we're going to inject, inject adjacent to the muscle. Okay, turn to the side. And we're going to give three injections just adjacent to the mark. And then we massage the Botox into the orbicularis oculi muscle to obtain a smooth and lasting result. There we go. Now we're going to inject the patient's right side. And again, three injection points. One, two, and three. And the injections are complete. Again, that's injection of the orbicularis oculi for the crow's feet. And we massage the Botox to obtain a uniform result. Done. And these are the orbicularis oculi, the superficial muscle. It takes approximately two units. As you see, when I inject the the orbicularis. I give the two units and then massage in a circular direction as the orbicularis extends around the eye. Remove what is called the classic crow's feet. Also of note, I do not direct we inject into the mark because we can tattoo the skin. So we don't want that to occur. And it's important to mark. It isolates the belly of the muscle in the contracted state. In the relaxed state, the muscles tend to move back to the relaxed position. And that's when you're injecting in the relaxed state. And as a result, you can miss the muscle. Side. Also, once you mark, it's important not to go through the mark directly, but to go adjacent to the mark so that you do not tattoo the skin. Small injections of two units in each area. Followed by a little direct pressure, minimize any potential for bruising. Most common side effects from the procedure are bruising and bleeding. Thank you for watching our video on treatment of the crow's feet. 